Hey, hi. I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. It's time for another reading. So today we have the Tarot of Dreams, okay? And I'm going to use the Astro Deck again, okay? So let's just go ahead and get started, see what's going on here. See what's going on for who is ever showing up for this reading. Some stuff will resonate, some stuff won't, you know, and that's okay. It's not a big deal. But let's see what's going on anyways. All right? What do we have for whoever came to this reading? Let me just put this here, put this here. What do we have for whoever's coming to this reading? What do we have for whoever's coming to this reading? What do we have for whoever's coming to this reading? Okay, two more cards. Two more cards. Two more cards for this reading, for this story. One more card, one more card, one more card. There it is. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Knight of Cups. So there might be some sort of emotional message coming in. Um, any kind of emotion, you know, happiness, sadness, sadness uh, anger, joy, whatever it is, there's a message coming in, right? It's either there is or somebody's thinking about it or they're not going to do it, right? But either way, there's some thoughts of some sort of emotions that somebody wants to, um, they want to express, okay? So the first card here we have is the Ace of Cups. So somebody might want to express some sort of message in regards to love, right? Um, then the Five of Cups right here. Um, card of Scorpio it's showing, okay? These cards kind of tell the signs, so I can tell them to you as we go. But uh, this person is feeling sad over the loss of this relationship. So this is somebody from the past, once again, another past person reading. And, you know, they might be wanting to go towards a Leo. We have the symbol of Leo, but we have the five of wands here. And there has been some sort of argument or fight, or this person is in their head about what had happened, right? Fighting in their own mind, you know, trying to figure things out right this person you know possibly very emotional doesn't know what to do now somebody you know whoever wants to uh, express this new start when it comes to love or emotions this person may be going through uh, some sort of karma but you know the karma is positive here I see the number four right there somebody could be a life path number four but it looks like they're going in the right direction, you know, it's, it's not in reverse, you know, reverse is usually bad karma and upright is usually good karma. Next, we have the Knight of Wands. Now, see, the main point here, because it's the center card, is this person plays games. Mm hmm. So, you know, even though it's in the upright, I'm still feeling that someone's going to receive karma and it's going to be good karma for them because it's going to be a, a lesson learned, right? Lessons learned can be good and bad, right? Maybe the good part of this, you know, if it's not going to come together is you learn your lesson and you don't do it anymore, right? That's the lesson. Don't do it anymore. And in the future, good things will come to you. So even though somebody might feel like it's bad karma, it's actually good because somebody needed to learn, okay? Somebody needed to learn about their ways, about playing around, how it's not good, um, playing games. It's, it's just not a good thing, right? Now we have the palace of coins here, right? And it appears that in this home, it's usually like a balanced and stable home. But because we have the five of wands here, it looks like there's a lot of fights and arguments going on there. And it could have to do with money. It doesn't have to, but it could. Um, this home may appear on the outside 
as you know beautiful and luxurious but on the inside i feel like there's some sort of some sort of you know disturbance in there definitely somebody feeling sad over there and it could be because there was some sort of games played now this also could be uh, whoever they were in the house with was the one playing games. Maybe it wasn't this person over here who sat and lost over the relationship. Maybe they weren't the ones at fault. Maybe somebody else who was living in that house was not doing the right thing, playing games, playing games with someone's mind, possibly, because you see this person with their hand on their head, you know, upset, you know, and there could be some mental health issues. Uh, it doesn't have to be, though, but, you know, this could be a situation like that. Now, we see the death card here, and that is the card of Scorpio. And this person possibly wants these things to end. You know, they want this struggle, this mental anguish, this fighting in the home, these playing games. They want it to end. They do not want to deal with that anymore, right? Right? This person wants to start brand new with this Ace of Pentacles here, possibly like finding balance in their life, becoming more grounded, um, just becoming a, a better person, right? And it also shows here that this person wants to work with someone, you know, this person wants to work with someone. The problem is, is somebody is still playing games, right? Now, whether it's the people who live in the house or it's this person, games are being played. And that is what's affecting this person's mental stability, right? If they want to find, you know, positive mental stability, they need to ground themselves. They need to have more self-love. They have to be more balanced in their life and possibly get away from this place where there's a lot of anger and fighting and you know, and it also could be whoever else is in this house or maybe more than one person. They are working together to keep this person in this mental anguish. And that's not very nice because it looks like this person it might be trying to do their best to, you know, be on the positive side of karma. Right. Karma can hit and karma can hurt. You know what I'm saying? Depending on what you're doing. Um. I feel like somebody here might be playing games with this person's head, making them feel some sort certain type of way. And this person may want to come, you know, and express something, but they can't because they have all these people who are causing this mental disturbance. Okay. So let's find out what we have here. Uh, let me hold the cards right, right? Let's find out what's going on here for uh, the Astra deck to add to it. Also, this is Cardamancy, right? But let's find out, you know, how this is going to play out in this story. Right? Look, see, we have the Seven of Pentacles. That's a star card. Somebody wants to heal. They want to heal. But if, if that's the case, whoever they are with in this household... This household is what's holding them back because they're keeping them in a bad situation, you know? Yeah. Let's see what else we have here. What else do we have here for this reading? Okay. What else do we have here in this reading? What else do we have here in this reading? What else do we have here? Final card. Final card, please. Final card. Final card. Final card. It's got to fly out. Final card, please. Final card. There it is. So we have the seven of pentacles beginning there. This whoever wants, you know, to, to start something new in regards to something very emotional, they want to heal. Now they also want to plant some seeds and nurture those seeds, you know, at the bottom of the deck, we have the queen of swords here. Now this person could be dealing with a queen of swords who is very truthful and honest, but they could also be dealing with a person who is not very honest, not very smart. Um, 
possibly kind of mean, you know? So, I mean, I kind of feel a little bit bad for this person, whoever this is, but you know, it is what it is. Um, this person feels like they have no way out with this, uh, wow card in reverse. This is the Joker card of Aries also. What other signs did we have here? Let's see. We had Scorpio, Leo, Capricorn, Scorpio. Okay. So I see those. And we have Aries, Aquarius, Gemini. Uh, we also have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. That's what I see so far. Okay. Oh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. Okay. So this person might feel like they're trapped because maybe these people have control or maybe there is money tied into this household, um, you know, and, and it's like these constant game playing has, you know, affected their mental stability, their mental, you know, the way they want things to happen in their life or whatever, but it doesn't seem to be working. You know, it's like, it's very sad. It's very sad for this person. This person, you know, has possible, you know, mental conflict, fighting with themselves. Should they do it? Should they leave? Should they stay? Uh, whatever. And, and these people in this palace of coins could be fighting with them or even possibly like giving them like a guilt trip or something. If you leave, you know, whatever, you know, male or female, you know, doesn't however, you know, it might resonate, but it's just a story, you guys. Uh, somebody is waiting for their ships to come in. So somebody could be waiting for money to come in so they could leave or waiting for the opportunity to leave uh, because this person feels like this person is in love. They This is the Six of Cups, the card of the lovers. This is somebody who loves another individual. They want to heal something with them and they feel that being with this person is a positive move when it comes to karma because maybe the person they want to deal with is um a good person you know we got a lot of good people out here who people just want to step all over and it's just such a sad thing but it's unfortunately the truth this knight of wands does not want to work with those who play games so now i see it now the story's coming together this possibly this person you know is not the game player it's whoever they might live in this house with who's trying to keep them trapped in that energy fighting with them arguing with them i feel like this person cannot wait to leave and go towards whoever it is that they have emotions or love for right because this person remembers this person from the past and how kind they were and you know, this type of thing. They do not want to work with these people who like to play games. Three of Pentacles is about working with others, but in the reverse, it's like, I don't want to work with these people no more. I don't want to deal with these people anymore because they play too much. They play too many games. These games affect my mental health and it doesn't make me feel good. Yeah, right? So, like I said, in this house, it could be a family or people who live there, whoever. Somebody in that, they are defensive. Yeah. They want to stand up for whatever games they're playing. They want to fight. They want to defend this, that, and the other. But, you know, that's just the energy of what's there in that house. I feel like it might look on the outside, like, real nice and all that but on the inside we got a bunch of defensive people arguing and fighting possible evil things going on there i mean darn you know what i mean so this person here it could be the scorpio death card this person who wants to put an ending to these game playings and fighting this person is possibly the one who has love who wants to heal something with someone because there's love there mm-hmm with this ace of coins right here and this seven of swords right here somebody here is definitely wanting to sabotage this person's uh stability right they don't want this person to straighten up they don't want this person to be balanced or grounded they want to keep them in some sort of weird energy fighty energy that's that sucks i'm gonna tell you right now that sucks um, it's a terrible energy to be in. Uh, and, and, you know, it's hard for people to leave toxic situations, especially when there's money tied to it. 
you know, somebody might live in a household full of really evil people and there's money tied there and it's like, how can I leave this situation? They kind of, you know, they got me a, a hold on me, you know. Uh, these people who possibly even said, oh, we'll, we'll help you. We'll do this. We'll do that. Right. We'll all work together and we'll make things happen. But unfortunately with this Knight of Pentacles here, you know, maybe in the beginning they, they wanted to, there's a, it's in the upright It's a possibility, but I also feel like this person has been waiting forever and a day to see any kind of progress here. All they've been seeing is deception and it's been hurting them. Mm -hmm. It's been possibly, you know, making them feel some sort of emotional way. Yeah. And, and I see here, you know, this person who, you know, who could have Scorpio in their chart, who's trying to heal and be loving and whatever and strong because, you know, I kind of feel that this person could be in the energy of the queen of swords male or female because you know the queen of swords is about honesty and truth and men can be about honesty and truth too so choose how it resonates so this person could be in the energy of the queen of swords and these people over here are in the energy of queen of swords reverse they're not very honest they're not very truthful possibly taking advantage of others you know so yeah darn that's too bad for somebody if it resonates let's hope it doesn't you know what i mean but there is a possibility that this is going on out there for somebody and they're having a hard time getting away from it you know i feel bad for this person but like i said if you have a will there is a way to get out of this type of thing um, you just got to look up, research some stuff, you know, find ways out, you know, really, you know. <sighs> so if it resonated, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, keep it true love energy, you guys. Happy, friendly, loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful. I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.